Good morning, everyone. Well, today is Saturday, May 29th, 2021, week 130 of our keto journey. And if you happen to notice, I am sitting here alone. Uh, Stacy is out in Albuquerque visiting her brother, and she has gotten back to me and said that um, their scale there, she is still the same as last week. So she has not gone up or down. So mine has uh, gone down a little bit. Not really sure how or why exactly. I've been kind of couch ridden or bed ridden for the last two weeks here. I had a fallout in Colorado and I really hurt myself. Um, came back home, cut my trip short. Uh, went and did some x-rays. Took a little bit of time to get all that done. <clears throat> and uh, I'm still in a lot of pain, barely, barely moving. Uh, trying to get in to see the doctor to go over the results. Still haven't gotten my x-ray results back to see what I've damaged, how I've damaged it. If anything's cracked, fractured, broken, just bruised, I'm not really sure. I can tell you I haven't been in this much pain in a long time. Anyway, uh, last week I was 333, and today I was 327. Um, again, don't know where that came from, six pounds difference. Um, I'm eating regular keto, doing my regular things. Now the one thing that's puzzling me a little is uh, nothing has changed in terms of my foods or anything. In fact, I've been a little bit worried about not being as active. I'm not able to stand or walk without pain. I'm not able to sit or lay without pain. Um, pretty much in pain pretty much all the time. I've been alternating between Tylenol, Motrin, and Vicodin. And I don't like taking any of those things. So, uh, but it becomes pretty unbearable and I've been pretty miserable. So... I'm not sure where the weight loss came from. Um, it might just be a temporary thing. and I might be up two or three next week. I don't even know. My body is a mystery sometimes. I'll gain three or four. I'll drop five or six. I'll gain two or three. And I don't do anything different. So the only thing I can uh, attest to differently is not being as mobile and active just due to pain and the inability to get up and move. I'd say that first four to six days after I fell, I was having a hard time just even getting to the bathroom, <laughs> much less just trying to find walls to hang on to and move. I really ended up hurting myself pretty bad. I don't think people realize how much pain I've been in. Uh, I've even got pain on the opposite side of where I fell. I fell on my right and my whole entire left rib cage is killing me. I, I think it's muscular. I hope it's nothing more than that. I've been trying to get in to see the doctor, but we've got weird situations with the way that this holiday weekend falls. They are out of the offices until Tuesday. So I've left messages. I've sent portal messages. Stacy called for me as well. And uh, it's just a bunch of voicemails, basically. So... And I'm not going to waste the money to go to urgent care. I've been there, done that before. It's a waste of time. All they do is send you for follow-up with your primary, which I'm trying to do right now. So I'm just doing the best I can to be positive, keep moving forward. Uh, I'll, I'll take the numbers on the scale, but I have no idea how they're down six in a week. Um, but I'll take it. And uh, tomorrow night, Sunday night, I go to pick up Stacy at the airport. And then we've got, I think, about a day and a half where we're going to try and get a couple things done. That <laughs> I haven't even seen Stacy since the beginning of May. So the month is over. Uh, I think I left on May 7th, uh, 7th or 8th. Uh, and I hadn't seen her that entire week from the 1st to the 7th or 8th. And then uh, I took off for Wyoming and Colorado. And then I had to come home early for x-rays and some issues with Julia and school and medical. So um, I came home to deal with that and to get x-rays and was feeling extremely horrible and um, still am. And then when I got home, literally 
that same night we were up till four or five in the morning getting Stacy ready, getting laundry done, getting bags packed to get her to the airport the next day. That's when I gave the update in the car. I think it was Tuesday. Uh, as we were driving, I'm like, hey, we never did a weekend update for 129, for week 129. So we actually did it, and I held the phone up in the car and, you know, got a little squeak of a quick update out. And uh, now I'll see her tomorrow evening. But uh, the craziness starts again, I think, Tuesday afternoon. So I'll see her for about a day, day and a half of um, being able to hang out. We've got a stack of mail to go through, bills, insurance things, just the normal everyday stuff everybody does. And um, I want to see Stace. I haven't even seen her, and it was her 50th birthday yesterday. Um, briefly sent her a text and gave her a quick call, and she's out there enjoying her time with family. And um, I'll tell you, it was as I'm feeling, I'll, I'll be very glad to have her home. home. Um, just even the help of, hey, can you get me a glass of water or something instead of trying to get up and get it done? I've not been able to get much of anything done here. Um, and uh, I don't like pain pills and I've been living on them. And uh, that's, that's not a good place to be and I don't want to be there. So I'm trying my best. Um, hope everybody else is doing well. Again, I can't tell you why I was down six. I might be up three next week for all I know. I won't even beat myself up over it at this point. I'm so set in my keto ways in terms of, you know, this morning I had uh, a couple of pieces of sausage, three eggs, scrambled, a um, cup of coffee, black with monk fruit drops, and a big 32-ounce glass of water. And this is my second one now. So I drink a lot of water. I drink some black coffee with monk fruit in it, um, sometimes some French vanilla or half half and half, but not always. And uh, I keep it pretty simple, pretty basic. Today I think we're going to, Julia wants pasta salad, so we're going to run to um, the corner market up here. I've got to get just a few small things, a green pepper and uh, some noodles for her. <clears throat> and I'll make her some pasta salad later today. I think we might try and do a thing where we do it together and, I teach her how to make her own pasta salad. Um, not a big pasta salad fan, so it won't affect me or trigger me in any way. I'll just have like a chicken thigh and some uh, Brussels sprouts or broccoli and cheese or something basic. I'm I'm a real simple eater, so. But uh, anyway, hope everybody has a great weekend. If you're doing keto, hope you stick with it and hope things are going well for you. Um, very happy to report that uh, numbers are down this week. Uh, I guess we'll just see where next week puts me. Um, go from there. All right, guys. Have a great weekend. Bye.